On one side of the reservoir, people are out on the water. They're swimming, they're paddle boarding, they're boating. And then on the other, it is a grim, slow, methodical search for the body of an 18-year-old. He went under the water on Friday afternoon. For a third straight day, teams from Colorado Parks and Wildlife and South Metro Fire searched for the teen. CPW says he was wading in the water with another person about 325 Friday afternoon. The water is shallow, about 20 to 25 feet from shore, but then it drops down dramatically. Witnesses say the two were struggling in the water. A boat even came to the rescue. People on board were able to save one person in the water, but not the other. Sunday afternoon, search crews waded through the water using probes while boats with sonar skimmed the surface. CPW even used an underwater drone equipped with sonar and a camera. But searching the water and the terrain below the surface has not been easy. And what's making the area so difficult to search is we're going from one foot, one and a half feet, to four feet to five feet, and then it drops off to 18 feet, and then it comes up rapidly to one and a half feet. So it's very difficult for us to run our sonar. CPW says visibility is only about two to three feet. There's also quite a bit of vegetation under the surface. So while teams search, the beach will remain open. Family of the victim started an online petition asking CPW to close the water until crews recover his body. CPW says it doesn't plan on closing the reservoir. You know, as a state entity with, with all of our state parks, we do have that responsibility to Coloradans to provide that recreational aspect. And Chatfield State Park, um, well over a million visitors a year. We had over 10,000 visitors into the park yesterday. Um, there would be a lot of logistics that would be very challenging uh, to close down the entire reservoir. In an average year, CPW says about 12 people die on Colorado's lakes and rivers. 23 have died this year. From Chatfield State Park, Noel Brennan, 9 News.